Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. We are officially in August, um, which is mind blowing that we are literally in August now. July flew by. Um, I don't even know where July really went, honestly. So that is that. <laughs> but today it is Saturday, August 3rd. I thought I would start off um, with August, sharing my August TBR uh, list with you guys because I do love giving out um, what books I'm reading each month and hopefully you guys find a book that will interest you in all these videos that I film for you guys um, because I do love sharing what books I will be reading for the month and then love giving my feedback at the end of the month of the books that I've read and hopefully you guys will find your favorite book out of any of these videos you are currently watching or have watched in the past so let's go ahead and get this August TBR list going. Okay, I am going to be reading, I think, one, two, three, four, hopefully six books this month because I did read actually, I think about six books last month. So it's going to be kind of off to another great start. Hopefully I can read six books um, this month. We'll see how it goes. A lot of them are going to be more on Kindle this time around just because I've been wanting to use my Kindle a little bit more and I've been loving to travel with my Kindle lately um, when I go out to the pool and when I've been on airplanes lately because I've been traveling so much to Indiana recently for a whole bunch of wedding stuff. So a lot of my books I've been finding are on my Kindle. And so I'm gonna be sharing a mix of physical books that I'll be reading this month along with books that I will be reading on my Kindle. So the first book I will be reading, well, the first book I am actually reading right now in August is Keeping 13, which is part of the Boys of Tommen series by Chloe Walsh. I am in love with the series. Here's the cover right here. Um, I was obsessed with Binding 13, which is the first book of the series. I love Johnny and Shannon. I love their relationship. So I'm trying to finish at least the second book, which I'm already halfway through on my Kindle. So I should be finishing that here shortly. But that is the book I am currently reading and I do highly recommend the series. It is just so sweet and so cute. It does have a little bit of trigger warnings though in it because it does come with some rough paths in it, especially with Shannon and her family. So just a little warning on that with her, but I do highly recommend the series. I just, I love the characters and I love Johnny. He's just my favorite right now. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying that book and highly, highly recommend the series. There are two other books after it, but I think it's based on another character that I'm not going to say because I just don't want to spoil anything. Um, so I think it's going to be based off of that character and the next two books after I finish the second one. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But that's currently the book I am reading and I started at the end of July and kind of going into August with it. So it's just kind of up there right now. But the first book that I'm going to have on my August TBR list is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I almost said Holly Jackson, but she is the author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. But this is going to be one of my fantasy reads for this month. I, um started getting back into fantasy recently. I can't remember what book just really got me back into my fantasy mood. Oh, it was Kingdom of the Feared, which is the third book of the Kingdom of the Wicked series trilogy. And I enjoyed it so much. I was like, now I'm back in my fantasy kick. So I thought this would be a great book to start off with um to keep going with my fantasy kick and now since we're getting to august which is getting close to the cozy month so this is going to be great i did read this book before and i did rate it a three stars but that was also before i read akatar when i didn't really understand this type of world so we're going to try this book again and i've heard really good things about it and i hear it just keeps getting better and better because she does keep releasing like the second and third book to the series so i'm gonna reread this again and try to get back into the series and holly black but this is a, about another fae basically which is june was seven when her parents were murdered and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of fairy Ten years later, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there, but many of the Fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardin, the youngest and wickedest son of the High King, to win a place at the court. Jude must defy him and face the consequences. So, 
that is why I rated this a three stars because I had no clue what was going on. And now since I've read Akatar, this will definitely clear a lot of things up. So I'm very excited to try and give this book another try. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Okay, the second book I am reading this month is the Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. This is going to be my second book of his that I will be reading. I enjoyed um, The Wish by him. It was a really good book and I read that in July on my July TBR list, which I did not do a recap on, but I did enjoy it. It did make me cry like all I think of his books are at this point, but I'm excited to read this. I have watched the movie, but I do want to try and give the book a shot because I did love the movie and I'm still kind of on my cowboy romance kick so I think this will be a good one to read and keep that cowboy romance kick going especially since the new movie Twisters came out. I have not seen it yet but it's just getting me more obsessed with cowboy romances so this is definitely going to help with that I think as well but it's about Ira who is in trouble who is 91 years old and stranded and injured after a car crash. She struggles to retain consciousness until a blurry image materializes beside him. His beloved wife Ruth, who passed away nine years ago, urging him to hang on. She forces him to remain alert by re reminiscing about their lifetime together. Ira knows that Ruth can't possibly be in the car with him, but the, but he clings to her words and his memories. A few miles away at a local bull riding event, university senior Sophia Danko meets a young cowboy named Luke. Through Luke, Sophia is introduced to a world in which the stakes are high, rewarded and ruined, and even life and death loom large in everyday life. As she and Luke fall in love, Sophia finds herself imagining a future far removed from her plans if the secret Luke's keeping doesn't destroy it first. Ira and Ruth, Sophia and Luke, two couples who have little in common and who are separated by years and experience, yet their lives will coverage with unexpected buoyancy, reminding us all that even the most difficult decisions can yield extraordinary journeys. So I'm excited to read it. Like I said, I enjoyed the books, uh, not the book, the movie. So I'm very excited to give the book a shot and see what I think of it as well. The third book I am reading, I actually just got this today and I watched the movie as well, but I really want to see what the book is like um, because I love the movie so much, which is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. I love the movie. It has Dylan Sprouse in it. Um, it's on Hulu now, the second, I mean, the first and the second movie, but I wanted to give the book a shot. I've been looking for the book forever and it was actually in the bargain section at Books Million today. So I went ahead and got it. I was so excited um, because this book is originally $17 and I got it for like five bucks. So I'm very, very stoked about that. But it's about Abby, who is a good girl. She doesn't drink or swear and she has the appropriate percentage of cardigans in her wardrobe. Abby believes she has enough distance between her and the darkness of her past, but when she arrives at college with her best friend, her path to a new beginning is quickly challenged by Eastern University's walking one-night stand. Travis Maddox, lean cut and covered in tattoos, is exactly what Abby needs and wants to avoid. He spends his nights winning money in a floating fight ring and his days as the ultimate college campus charmer. Intrigued by Abby's resistance to his appeal, Travis tricks her into his daily life with a simple bet. If he loses, he must remain abs absent for a month. If Abby loses, she must live in Travis's apartment for the same amount of time. Either way, Travis has no idea that he has met his match. So that's all I have to say uh, about this book. I'm very excited to read it. I live for these kind of romance books. So I'm, yeah. That's all I really have to say. I'm just very excited to read it. So this will be my third book that I will be reading in August. The next book is my book club book for this month. Um, I don't currently have it with me yet, but it is called Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan, I think is how you say her name. I think her H is silent is what I've heard Destiny Sidwell say um, when she's read this book by her. But this is gonna be our book club book for the month. I do have it actually on my computer for the description. So I was getting it pulled up here to read um, what Summer Romance is about. I'm actually very excited to read it. I've heard good things about this book as well. And I think most of us or all of us in book club are very excited to read it. But um, it says, 
There aren't enough labeled glass containers to contain the mess that is in Allie Morris's life. Her mom died two years ago, then her husband left, and she hasn't worn pants with a zipper and longer than she cares to remember. She's a professional organize, organizer, 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 Organs. Pantry is a disgrace. No one is more surprised than Allie when the first time she takes off her wedding ring and puts on pants with hardware, overalls count, right? She meets someone, or rather her dog claims a man for her in the same way he claimed his favorite of her three children by peeing on him. Ethan smiles at Allie like her pants are just right, like he, like he likes what he sees. The last thing Allie needs is to make her life messier, but there's no harm in a little summer romance, is there? So very excited to read this book and talk about it in book club it is a contemporary romance it's adult romance it's kind of got that rom-com vibe so i'm very excited to see what i think about this book and what the girls are gonna think about this book um so i'm glad this is gonna be our august read just to kind of finish off the summer um with the summer romances since basically when september hits fall is automatically here once it's september 1st in my opinion but August is a great way to wrap it up with this book and just my summer romance reads and just my summer books in general. So I'm very excited to read Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan. And then the second book I'm reading that will be on my Kindle so I don't have the physical copy is called The Ritual by Chantelle Tesser. I think is how you say her last name. Um, I've heard good things about this book. I am surprisingly going to be giving a dark romance a try. This will be my first dark romance read that I have ever read, so I am a little nervous, but I have heard good things about this book, um, so we'll see what I think about that, but it is on my Kindle, so I don't have the physical copy, but it is right here for you guys to kind of get an idea of what the cover looks like. But it says, Barrington University's Home of the Lords, a secret society that requires their blood and payment. They are above all the most powerful men in the world. They devote their lives to violence in exchange for power. And during their senior year, they are offered a chosen one. People think growing up with money is freeing, but I promise you it's not. My entire life has been planned out for me. I never got the chance to do what I wanted until Raya Alexander Archer came along and gave me an option for a better life. He offered me what no one else has ever had, freedom. I chose to be his. He made me believe that any way, but in just another lie. But it was just another lie. A way that, that the lords manipulate you into doing what they want. After being sucked into the dark, twisted world of the lords, I embraced my new role and allowed Riot to parade me around like a trophy I was to him. But, all, but like all things, what started out as a game soon became a fight for survival, and the only way out was death. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that book. Um, we're gonna give this a try. Like I said, this will be my very first dark romance book that I have ever read, but I've heard a lot of good things about it and I've heard people read this book. So we'll see how this goes. Um, if you've read this book, uh, comment down below and just let me know what you rated it. Cause I'm just curious if other people have read this book as well along with these other books that I have put in my August TBR. If you have read any of these, please comment down below um, what you rated these books because I just am curious if you guys have read any of these or also just comment down below if you are interested in reading any of these as well. Um, so I think that would be fun and see all that. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little nervous to read it, but I'm also very excited. So that is basically my fifth book that I'm reading for August. And the last and final book is The Sweet Nightmare by Tracy Wolf. This is her new book that came out and I did get the special edition of this one. She basically got me, uh, Tracy Wolf basically got me back into a very good, no, she started my fantasy era. I became obsessed with fantasy thanks to her when I started reading the Crave series which is down here um by her because it had vampires and werewolves and witches and all that so I enjoyed it and I ate that series up so I'm very excited to give her new book a try um and see what I think about it as well and it says that most schools are about being the best this school it's about being the worst Calder Academy is where the rogue paranormals go the one who's 
breaks the rules or lose control. And when that happens for vamps, werewolves, witches, and dark fae, it gets pretty freaking scary. I should know because I'm trapped here. Look, every 17 year old girl thinks their mom is a giant, but mine just happens to run Calder Academy, which paints a giant target on my back. The way I make it through these dark halls is by steering clear of the things and kids who go bump in the night, especially Jude Abernathy Lee. But when a freak storm hits our isolated island, I'm stuck without a backup plan. The power is gone, the lights are out, and, worse, and our worst nightmares are suddenly real and out for blood. Now the only way to survive is to align myself with one evil to avoid the other, and the, uh, the only thing worse than the idea of getting close to Jude, secretly loving every minute of it. So, I think this book is going to be really good. I haven't really heard uh, many people talk about this book, so I'm really excited to give my opinion on it and rate this one to kind of share out there for everybody, so we'll see how this book goes but I do love the cover it is so pretty um this is basically a new series of hers it's kind of a spinoff to I think the Crave series is what I've been hearing so we'll see how this goes um so I think definitely try reading the Crave series first before this one because I think there are some characters in this book that are from that series so um don't want to try to spoil anything for anybody um if they decide to try to read this instead of the Crave series first so try yeah highly recommend probably Crave series first and then read this book but I am excited to read it excited to see what I think about it and I think it's going to be another good fantasy read I'm excited about it she's one of my favorite fantasy authors of all time so definitely definitely very excited to read this book Okay, um, that is actually all the books that I have for this month. Um, it's a very small stack of, well, actually it's not a very small stack of physical reads, um, but I forgot to mention The Cruel Prince is on Kindle Limited too, so if you are interested in reading that and don't feel like buying the book, you can um, download it on Kindle Unlimited. So I actually just have two books I think I'm reading on Kindle Unlimited this month, which is this one and the ritual that I shared here earlier. Um, but yeah, these are the books I will be reading in August. I'm very excited to kind of get back into my fantasy kick again to get prepared for the cozy months, along with still reading some summer romances and just some romance books in gen general. Uh, so that is still a good thing as well, but I'm very excited to read these. I'm very excited to give my thoughts and opinions and ratings on these books and share with you guys at the end of the month as well. And also on top of that, um, the shirt I am wearing is my new bookmark, um, podcast merch, which is by, uh, Sarah Crowley and Destiny Sidwell. I love listening to their bookmark podcast and they did a collaboration with House of Jupiter, which I will link House of, House of Jupiter down below in my description, um, just kind of linking their merch in general because they are unfortunately sold out on their bookmark podcast merch at the moment just because they were doing a pre-order and they might come back out with more of their merch. Um, no one knows yet, but that is where this came from, but they do have a lot of other cute book merch on their website as well, along with like Akatar merch, I believe, and just a whole bunch of other cute book merch um, as well. That is what I really wanna get down the road. Um, so highly recommend checking them out and just wanted to give them a shout out because I am obsessed with this t-shirt. It is one of my favorite book merch I have ever bought. Um, so I wear this a lot and I, it's so comfy. It is oversized. It's just, it's amazing, but just want to put that in there. Cause I, yeah, like it's just so cute and it's so fitting and especially gives off destiny and Sarah's personalities as well in this t-shirt. So very excited about this. Um, but I wanted to put that in there, but yeah, that is basically my TBR video for this month for August. Um, like I said, I'm very excited to read this and cannot wait to get the show on the road and read all these books I'm very excited about. Um, and I hope you guys found a book that you might be interested in or you might have already read as well. And like I said, just comment down below your rating on the books if you have read them before. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to get started on this. Uh, anyways... <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And as Harry Styles says, treat people with kindness. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.